children of God who live in the kingdom of God are not anxious. Have you been feeling anxious lately? Or in other words, worried, nervous, or uneasy? Are you thinking about things in the future? Is there something happening right now that you might be scared of or fearful for? Don't worry anymore. Easy to say, hard to do, right? Well, today, we're going to learn in the Bible what Jesus, what God says about anxiousness. Maybe you don't know what the word says about anxiousness. Or maybe you need to be reminded of what the word says about feeling worried, nervous, or uneasy. Today, let's dive in to the word of God. Today, let's no longer be worried, nervous, or uneasy. It's time to trust God. It's time to be at peace. I see that frown on your face. I see that you feel gloomy. The weariness is burdening you. You feel the weight on your shoulders. Today, Jesus wants to lift up that weight. We are going to learn three things that are going to help you with your anxiousness. That's going to help you with your anxiety. It's going to help you with your worry, your nervousness, and your uneasy feelings. The three things that we're going to learn today is that we're going to trust in God's care. We're going to pray about concerns and we're going to seek his peace. No longer are you going to be trapped. No longer are you going to be bound by anxiousness. If it is the enemy right now, I want to rebuke that enemy. In the beautiful name of Jesus, Lord, you have given me authority. You said that I have the authority given by you to bind things on earth and to bound things in heaven and to loose things on earth and to loose things in heaven. You said if I ask in your beautiful name, in Jesus' name, that you would do it so that way the Father can be glorified. And I know with all confidence, Lord, with every ounce of my body, that you want your child who is listening right now, who is watching this video right now, who is listening to your word right now, I know that you want to free them, Lord. You say who the son says free is free indeed. So Lord, in your beautiful name, in Jesus' name, I loose anxiousness. I loose worriedness. I loose nervousness. I loose uneasy feelings. And I bind peace, I bind trust, and I bind understanding and wisdom of your truth and your promises to everyone under the sound of my voice. Lord, I ask that your mercy and your grace is shown today. And I decree and declare that from this moment forward, it is finished. In your beautiful name we pray, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I just needed to do that. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Because I know that your life is more than your thoughts. And I want to see you walk with a smile on your face. I want to see you with your shoulders up, no longer droopy. Because you know God's word. Because you know his wisdom. Because you know his promises. So the first point that I told you we are going to learn about trusting in God's care. The first verse that we have is 1 Peter 5. Cast all your worries and burdens onto me for I care for you. Are you casting all your worries and burdens onto him? The things that you are thinking about right now, the things that you have been anxious about right now, are you casting them to our Lord and Savior? He is our Savior. He saves us. Allow Him to save. Those things that are weighing you down, 
He said, cast all your burdens, all your worries. So every single thing that you have been thinking about that's been making you feel anxious, bring it to the Lord today in this moment. If you have to pause this video to do it, do it right now. Because a second with that worry, a second with that burden is a second too long. You need to be free. So feel encouraged that when you cast your worries and burdens on to the Lord, that he actually is going to receive it and take it. He's no longer going to give it back. He is going to handle it and he is going to answer your prayer because you believe that he is the one true God. You believe that he died and rose again. You believe that he is the son of God and that he is your firm foundation. So if you believe these things, go to the throne room with confidence, go to the throne room with boldness and say, God, here I lay it at your feet. It says, trust in God's care, believing that he is our father. And that he cares for us. In the end of the first Peter 5, it says, because, for he cares for you. For he cares for you. He is telling you in his word that he cares for you. So those lies that you're feeling, those lies that are being taught to you or told to you, remove them and say no. No longer. I know in God's word, he says that he cares for me. So I'm going to trust that he cares for me. And I'm going to trust that everything that I lay at his feet, he is going to take. So be encouraged that after you lay everything at his feet, he is going to receive it and is no longer going to be on your shoulders. It's no longer going to be on your mind. It's no longer going to be in your life. He is going to replace those thoughts of weariness, nervousness, and uneasiness with his truth. You have to read his word so that way you can go back to his promises. Today is just a reminder of things that you probably already know. But it's okay. We all need a reminder sometimes. I needed a reminder. I was anxious, worried, and nervous, all of that, maybe a few weeks ago. But the one thing I knew was to give it to the Lord. So no matter every day that I felt uneasy, nervous, or worried, I gave it to the Lord. Because I knew he did not want me to have the burdens that I was putting on myself. So every time that I thought about it, I gave it back to my Savior. Because like I said earlier, what the Holy Spirit said through me, a second with that worry, anxiousness, and nervousness is a second too long. So every time that I felt that, man, like, how am I going to get this done? Or when is this going to happen? I was like, Lord, I don't know how this is going to get done, but I know that you know. So I trust, Lord, that you're going to guide me. Lord, I don't know when it's going to happen, but you said to wait on you. Wait on the Lord. So everything that was coming to my mind, everything that's coming to your mind, bring it to God. No matter if you feel like you're repeating yourself. Because even in the word, in Luke, I believe 18, when he says, be like the persistent widow. The persistent widow came to the unjust judge constantly. And he says to learn from the persistent widow, meaning he wants us to do what the persistent widow did. So today, remove the lie that you're not bothering God with coming to him repeatedly, persistently. Every time you have those thoughts, every time you feel those feelings, bring it to God. 
You could bring it to him a thousand times over a thousand times and he's still going to love you the same. He actually wants you to because like I said, a second too long is a, a second with it is a second too long. So be assured, be confident that you can go to the Lord at all times. He says, pray without ceasing. So cast your worries and burdens onto him today. The second point, pray about your concerns. It says in Philippians 4, 6 through 7, do not be anxious. He is saying, do not be anxious. There's another verse, and I believe in Matthew, who says, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow has enough worry on its own. He also says, do not worry, for it does not add a single hour to your life. There is reminders from our Heavenly Father. There's reminders of the Word of God. He says, do not worry, meaning he knows that we are human. He knows that we live in this world. And this world likes to worry. This world likes to be nervous. This world likes to be anxious. But like in his word, he says, we live in the world, but we are not of it. In the beginning of this message, if you remember, I said, God's children who live in the kingdom of God are not anxious. Do you live in the kingdom of God? And what living in the kingdom of God means is that every aspect of your life is guided and instructed by the word of God. You live your life based on every verse in the Bible. That means you live in the kingdom of God. So if you can be confident that you live in the kingdom of God, then you should not and will not be anxious. Let me finish the verse. Do not be anxious about anything, but instead in every situation, pray about everything. The lesson here is saying, I know that you're going to be anxious because you live in the world. But the instruction says, do not be anxious. So today, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, is saying, do not be anxious. Instead, pray about everything. Is it easy transition from the last point? We're going to cast our worries and bur burdens onto the Lord for he cares for us. So we're bringing everything at his feet. And now we are praying about everything. Not leaving a single detail out. Yes, God does know about every single detail. However, submit underneath the Lord. Do not be prideful and saying, God, I need you. In this area, in this area, in this situation, in this situation, I'm thinking about this, I'm thinking about that. You are praying to our Heavenly Father because you know that He is the answer. So listen to Jesus. Do not worry. Do not be anxious. Worry does not add a single hour to your life. Pray about everything. Yes, Roberto. Yes, Berto. I'm hearing you. Are you though? Can you give me some confidence that after this message, whenever you feel anxious, you're going to pray? Can you give me confidence that after this message, that you're going to live in the kingdom of God, in the, in the children in the kingdom of God? They do not worry, they are not anxious because they pray about everything. Put yourself in the kingdom of God, where our Heavenly Father sits at the throne. Live in that closeness with the Heavenly Father who created all things. 
gives us who live in the kingdom of God peace. Because our Heavenly Father is right there and He knows everything. And He's working 24 7. Just like Jesus said, He said, Me and my Father are always working. So knowing that He is always working on our behalf, that He loves us, and that He knows every single sparrow, He knows. He cares for the flowers that are thrown into the fire the next day. How much more does our Heavenly Father care for you? When He reminds us through His Word how much He cares for us, that gives us peace. And peace is what you need right now. So receive Jesus' peace. He says, My peace I leave to you. He left his peace. Are we going to receive it? Receive it today. Say, God, I receive your peace. Thank you. The third part seek his peace peace. So since you have received his peace, let's seek his peace. And this comes from the verses that we've heard many times, and I hope you have heard this many times. And that is, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. Maybe you feel anxious. Maybe you feel worried. Maybe you feel nervous or uneasy because you're not intentionally seeking the kingdom of God and his righteousness. You might have one foot in the world and one foot in the kingdom of God. You might be listening to your friends and your family. You might be listening to the podcast that is not Christian. You might be listening to the shows that are not of the Lord. You might be listening to spirits that are not of the Holy Spirit. Seeking. When you play hide and go seek, and you are the one who's seeking, and everyone else is hiding, how else are you going to find them if you don't move? How else are you going to find them if you don't start looking at places that are hidden? You actually have to do things to go find them. If you're playing hide and go seek. So seeking the kingdom of God and his righteousness, you have to do things. You have to read his word. You have to go to church. You have to have fellowship. You have to be vulnerable. You have to pray at all times. You have to live out his word. You can't choose certain verses to live by. You have to live by the whole Bible. That is someone who is seeking. It seems daunting, but it seems daunting, meaning you might feel overwhelmed when you hear these things because you don't feel like you're doing them. But he said in his word, that's why I'm, t- I'm going back to his word. The Holy Spirit and the Lord has, our relationship has grown to where I I'm living out his word and he's reminding me, the Holy Spirit is reminding me of his, of his word. So if you have fellowship with the Holy Spirit, if you read his word, if you seek him at all times, you too can be reminded of his word. But in his word, he said, in your weakness, my strength is made known. So if you feel overwhelmed, if you feel daunting of all these things that you, you know that you're not doing, but you need to do, it's okay because we are weak, but Jesus is strong and we abide in him. He is the vine and we are the branch. If we abide in him, the great vine, if we have our house built on the firm foundation, if we admit, admit with me, say, I am weak. 
then and only then we will feel powerful. We will feel strength from our Lord and Savior. And you will be able to do all those things that the Lord is wanting you to do. He doesn't want you to do those things because you have to. He wants you to do those things because you love him. He said, do all these commandments out of love for me. And if you love the Lord, you will seek his kingdom and his righteousness. And you will experience peace. At the end of this verse in Philippians 4, 6 through 7, it says, and then you will experience his peace that surpasses all understanding. You're not going to understand why you no longer feel anxious, why you no longer feel worry, why you no longer feel uneasy, why you no longer feel nervous or fearful. You're, it says we will, that surpasses all understanding. It surpasses that. But you're going to live in it. So today, trust that God cares. Pray about your concerns and seek his peace. I want to pray for every single person that's under the sound of my voice right now. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for your message. We thank you, Lord, for speaking to us. And we know, Lord, that you spoke to us because you're using your word. And we know that your word is true. Lord, as we receive your words, we know that when you speak a word, it does not come back to you void. So, Lord, we want to say thank you in advance for all the miracles, for all the breakthroughs, for all the peace that we receive, Lord, in your beautiful name. Lord, every person that has just been freed from anxiousness, worry, nervousness, fearfulness, I ask, Lord, that you can remind them to glorify you and you alone. It wasn't my video. It wasn't my message. It was your video. It was your message. And it was your word. May they glorify your beautiful name. Lord, Lord, glory be to God. The Holy of Holies. The name above all names. Lord, we worship you and you alone. May your name be praised to all nations. We love you, Lord. And we thank you for sitting on the throne of grace. And sharing your power with us today. We receive every answer prayer that was spoke on today, Lord. And we glorify your name and we will testify that it was you that freed us from our chains of anxiousness, worry, uneasy, and nervousness, Lord. We love you and we thank you for coming down here on earth and being with us, Lord. In your beautiful name we pray, in Jesus' name we pray, amen. I hope you guys enjoyed that video or gain some wisdom or understanding by this point you should be feeling at peace and that is the lord and we thank you lord jesus if you gain some wisdom and understanding and you know someone who is going through a tough time right now with their thoughts please send it to them send this message to them click the link copy the link and send it to them because you love them. Allow them to receive what you received today. If you like the video, just like the video. Comment down below what the Holy Spirit spoke to you about. If you want to support me in any way, click the link down below. You can follow me on Instagram. You can support me financially. But staying to the end of this video means the world to me. So I say thank you. And I love you guys. And I hope to see you on the next video. God bless you guys. Peace.